Ladies and gentlemen, our research at the University of Pennsylvania over more than a decade and the research of our colleagues around the country and around the world has shown that more than education, more than training, it is resilience that determines who succeeds and who fails. And the fact is that resilience plays out in all of our lives. So we began to think, how can we break this big concept down? I think the problem is that resilience is such a big concept. It's so difficult to get your arms around it. And when you hear about resilience, you may start to think that it's something that cannot be changed. It is this big monolith that simply cannot be shifted. And so it was for that reason that we were invested in finding out just exactly what resilience is comprised of. We wanted to find the factors that underpin resilience. And in that work, begun in 1997, we were able to reveal the seven inner strengths that make up resilience. Emotion regulation, impulse control, causal analysis, self-efficacy, realistic optimism, empathy, and reaching out. The fact is that we can improve on each of those inner strengths and the key to improving is understanding our thinking style and changing it to be more accurate and more comprehensive. Over the last 12 or 13 years, we've developed seven skills that will enable you to boost your inner strengths, boost those inner strengths of resilience. They are the skills of ABC, avoiding thinking traps, detecting icebergs, challenging beliefs, putting it in perspective, calming and focusing, and our seventh skill, real-time resilience.